back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our brand new custom in the house as well as some other things that you may want to add to your collection that may improve your collection. You know, I don't know. I also had uh, some other things I wanted to showcase, but my dumb ass, like, I, I don't know what I did. I misplaced. I don't know what I did, which we'll get into as well. Hopefully, I don't forget to mention it, but let's go ahead and dive in, guys. You guys can see what we're about already in the video. All the right, right, right in front, right? We got right in front. We have this brand new custom Elite Seth freaking Rollins. I got the Monday Night Messiah right here, or the Messiah, in the Survivor Series 2020. Yeah, 20. 2020, right? It feels like, I mean, I feel like it's 2038 right now. I mean, the days just go by, and I'm just living here, Brad. But you guys can see here, Monday Night Messiah, got the black glove over here. Even though, I feel like I haven't seen a lot of people do this custom. I feel like a lot of people, I guess because he didn't have really a big part in the Survivor Series match, right? They, they freaking loaded him out there. He sacrificed himself, and then came back, and it was just like, uh, oh, okay, I, I don't I don't know what's going on. Could have been a really good story. I mean, it really didn't lead to much anyways, but here's the Monday Night Messiah, guys. What I did was I used the Fan Central Takeover figure, the, the WrestleMania 35 figure, and all I did was acetone off some of the designs in the front, and then I took my blue metallic paint. Folk, okay, this is something I need to get out right now. Folk art paint is god awful unless it's metallic or one of those, like, color fusion type paints, which I I think, or like color shift, I think is what it's called. Anything else from folk art, throw it the hell away. It's garbage. Anyways, getting back into it. Not getting sponsored by them. Anyways, guys, you guys can see here, I did the metallic blue over the belt. We painted the belt design here. Let me raise up this. Also, for some reason, every time I make Seth Rollins customs, the legs get loose, so I do have some Mod Podge. It's a little bit better now. I put some Mod Podge in there, but you guys can see we did add the stripes down the side. I put some of the, uh, the gloss Mod Podge over it to give it a really nice sheen to it because that's kind of how it looked. I know I don't have the black details on the kick pads or anything, but it, it really doesn't bother me. All I did was literally just paint over the gold designs, and then I had to do a lot of freehand. Like, these stripes are freehanded. Uh, the blue actually is. Like, I had to widen the stripe to get it to get the spacing correct, and I think I got it pretty much symmetrical on both sides. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's not the most, like, detailed custom or, like, crazy over-the-top custom, but you guys know me with the Seth Rollins collection. Had to add it. You know, I try to get every attire that he wears or every attire that he has worn on WWE television. I am missing quite a few, you know, I think SummerSlam 2019, we're missing the Rey Mysterio attire, we're gonna get an Elite 86, we're missing the Avengers gear, we're missing, I, I know I'm missing more than that, I, there's a lot of gears that I'm missing, but I tried to knock them out little by little, I'd like to get the, I had the Thanos gear in my custom, I made that from SummerSlam, but after realizing that it was garbage, I figured either I gotta get somebody else to make that for me, or I'll maybe Mattel will make that for us. I really want to see Seth Rollins get that Thanos gear made by Mattel, but what do you guys think of it? Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. I just put a, I just put a black interchangeable hand. I don't know where this, this hand came from. It was just in my fodder box, and it's not painted or anything. It's just molded in black. So there you go. There's the Seth Rollins Monday Night Messiah Survivor Series custom. Again, folk art, garbage paint. Don't use it unless it's metallic or a color shift color. Let me show you the color shift so you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. So right here, metallic, and here's the the color shift right there. Yeah, folk art. If it's not one of these, like these brands of paint of folk art, if it's like regular acrylic paint from folk art, get the folk out of here. You know, you know what I'm saying? All right, back to real business. All right, next up, guys, we have some shirts. Now, these are really sick, and you can actually get your own WWE figure shirts right here. We have an MDT referee shirt. Now, I don't know if I will use this in the pig fed. You guys know how my referees are rocking. Like, we got like the ECW kind, right? So, this is my current ref shirt for MDT Live. You have the MDT Live logo, MDT's on the side. It's just a black ref shirt. And then for Vindication, you guys know we have like the old SmackDown polo tee going on with the Vindication logo there and the MDT on the side there for Vindication. So I just have solid black shirts and solid blue shirts. I really like these, but having the official ref shirt like this with the MDT logo there and the pinks on the sleeves there is pretty sick. I also wanted to see what this looks like on the figures themselves because I I wanted to see, you know, how that all compared and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get this man's shirt off, and then we can, uh... 
see what the hell it looks like. What's funny to me is this Sergeant Slaughter actually has like a, he has a white tank top underneath his ref shirt, so it's kind of like, you know, how, like, I feel like older men do that a lot. Like, I know my, my pawpaw does that. He'll wear, you know, like a, a white tank top under his regular shirt, or he'll be shirtless, man. He don't give a damn. Once you get that old Brad, you're like, F it. Anyways, here is the shirt. So here's the Sergeant Slaughter rocking the MDT ref shirt. Now, I am getting it worked out where you guys could possibly purchase this yourself, so if you guys would be interested in an MDT ref shirt or MDT theme shirts or something like that. Uh, we can work that out possibly. I need to get some more information from my boy to see exactly, you know, how we can make that happen. But there is the one ref shirt. I will say it's a little bit skinny here. Maybe the sleeves are a little bit too long. If I had any critiques at all, I'd say maybe shorten up the sleeves a little bit and maybe make them not as wide on the cuffs a little bit, but they still look pretty good on there. I think you could easily pass that for a referee. We also have the solid pink MDT shirt, which looks really sick. I love the the way this one came out. I think that looks great with the center graphic there and then the pink on there with the sleeve. It looks great there. We also have another ref shirt, but this is a WWE ref shirt. Now, if you guys would like to pick up a WWE ref shirt for your pick feds or whatever, these t-shirts actually come to us from my man Fig Tees. FigTees.com or I think it's FigTees.co.uk He's based in the UK, so if you're a UK follower, you can get in on these custom shirts. We also have this Finn Balor blue one with the pink outline, which looks pretty damn sick as well. So you can get your own Fig Tees which is why it's called Fig Tees. But you can get your own Fig Tees at FigTees.co.uk. I think that's the, the URL to the website. You can use code MDT15 to get 15% off. They have a wide range of shirts. He makes custom shirts. I'm sure he could do this ref design and I'm pretty sure if you have your own logos or graphics made, he could probably slap some logos on the sleeves and right there and you could have yourselves a, you know, you could have yourselves your own custom ref tees for your stop motion and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put this WWE one onto this uh, onto my other referee right here. I used to have way more referees. I guess they just got sick of, you know, would not getting to work and then they just they, they retired and went on strike and you know, they walked out of the company. So, you know, yeah, you hate to see that, but you know, Brad, it is what it is. These are my two or this guy's been around since the very beginning. He's an absolute boss, but Sergeant Slaughter, he, he came along a little bit later, but Dean Malenko right here, or I, I don't even know what the hell his name is, honestly. And there is the WWE ref shirt on our uh, on our MDT referee. So there you go. If you guys would like a referee tee, there you go. So that is our custom tees. I also like these. These are probably going to go into my crowd for sure. I think these will look really badass, especially the MDT one. Now you guys know I have my Gronk jacket, so if I was ever going to step in the ring, I'd probably rock the Gronk jacket. I feel like that'd look really badass, especially with like an MDT sick-ass gear or something like that. But the thing that I forgot to show you guys is that I misplaced like a jackass. You guys saw the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin figure, right? With the middle finger hands that they didn't give us because it's Mattel and public trade company and you know, you don't want a middle finger on your toy shelves on the kids aisle. That's how you get uh, that's how you get cancelled, Bradley. So my boy 14 Fig, you guys know he sent us the two sweet hands and all of that stuff. He sent me middle finger hands for my Stone Cold Steve Austin figures and it would have been great to show off to you guys. You guys can still go grab them over at 14fig.com but I had a set sitting in front of my team. I took them out of the box. I looked at them. I was watching Alabama and the SEC Championship. I took them out of the box to look at. Alabama's competing for a championship, so I was like, oh yeah, yeah, let me watch this game. So I sat them in front of my TV, and now they're gone. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know what the, I, I don't know. I went back to get them. They were gone. I don't know what to say. They were just, they were absent, man. I could not find them, so I don't know what the hell to do about that, but if you guys would like to pick up some middle finger hands, they look really good. They're gonna be perfect for our Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin's. I just hate that I misplaced them. Hopefully I can find them soon, because I wanted to put them on my Ultimate Edition, but I think that is pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. I had the custom Seth Rollins and the custom figure t-shirts. Again, figtees.co.uk. Go over there. Go over there and check out those custom tees. Use promo code MDT15 to save yourself 15%. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to Campbell Tansley, who says, yes, man, book a whole year of wrestling. Now, that would take a very long time to think out and book. Like, I would have to sit there, you know, for a, a, a de definitely a decent amount of time and write that out, but I think I totally could do that. If that's a video you guys would like to see, maybe I could make that happen for you, so I, I guess I could book like WrestleMania to WrestleMania and try to do it with the figures and like show my storylines and my match cards and stuff. It may have to be like even a, like a part series or something like that where we do like four parts or, or something of that nature. I really don't know how I would do that, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below, guys, but I'm getting
getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Oh yeah, don't cross the line. You cross the line.